Hello, today we have Gary Jacob, PhD, Chief Executive Officer of Okio Pharma Limited, which trades on the NASDAQ under the ticker OKYO. Gary, welcome. Hi, Michael. Pleasure to speak with you. Gary, my understanding is that Okio is presently developing an innovative ocular therapy called OK101 to target the multi billion dollar inflammatory dry eye disease market as well as some other applications of unmet medical need. Can you give our viewers a quick overview of OK101 and the recent results you reported with this drug to treat dry eye disease? Thank you, Michael. And of course, I'm very excited to be telling the viewers about OK101. That's our flagship drug to treat dry eye disease. And uh, we're very excited because uh, this is a drug that we only brought into the clinic in what was called a phase two trial, a 240 patient trial that was randomized, placebo controlled, and run uh, through uh, a good part of 2023. And we released top line data in uh, the beginning of 2024. So it was a great start to the year. And what was really exciting to us was that in that trial, we had a number of uh, endpoints that we were looking at, and we were excited that we saw statistical significance in a number of readouts that included stinging, burning, blurred vision, conjunctival staining, eye dryness. And in particular, we were excited uh, about the uh, statistical significance, and this was durable significance over 85 days, the three-month period of dosing. And we saw that in, uh, in a particular uh, endpoint called ocular pain, and that was very exciting for us. So we're looking now at setting up to do registration trials that are phase three trials with OK101 to treat dry eye disease. Great. So you particularly highlight ocular pain from the results of the dry eye trial. Why is that so important? Well, that's a, a great question, Michael. And, and the reason why is that our drug, OK101, targets a particular receptor. It's called Chemar 23, and it's present on immune cells that produces an ocular anti-inflammatory activity, which is why we brought it into the trial to begin with, to, to explore that. That's a, inflammation in, the, uh, in dry eye is a major issue. So the, the point, though, was that that particular receptor that I told you about, which is present on immune cells, white blood cells, was also discovered to be present on nerve cells in the uh, spinal column. And so what really excited us was that we uh, looked at in animal studies that were conducted with a leader in neuropathic corneal pain, Dr. Pedro Hamra, in animal studies, whether this drug had potential to treat a condition called neuropathic corneal pain. And we were very excited from those animal uh, studies that the drug was showing as a topical administration in the mice in that model a very strong reduction in neuropathic corneal pain. So when we saw the results, Michael, in the uh, dry eye study, and I should point out that a certain number of these patients have a, a, a neuropathic corneal pain, as well as the kind of inflammatory pain that you get, for example, with a, a headache or a, a toothache, for example. But that was really exciting for us because it really gave us even stronger excitement about the possibility of our drug treating neuropathic corneal pain. That's very exciting, Gary. Can you tell us more about the opportunity for treating corneal neuropathic pain and the upcoming phase two trial? Sure, Michael. And uh, the reality is that neuropathic corneal pain, this is the kind of pain that is so intense, it's acute and chronic in people with neuropathic corneal pain, that there are even cases of suicide. And the, the issue is that there is nerve damage to the ocular nerves. Uh, just like when people hear about a spinal cord injury and people are having stinging and burning sensation in their, in their extremities, in the eye, it's highly innervated with nerves. And so, People literally can have from a dry eye condition, they can get uh, damage to the ocular nerves. And this can produce this excruciating pain. So what has excited us from the dry eye study is that we're looking at a real opportunity for this drug. And I should point out that there is no FDA approval 
approved drug to treat neuropathic corneal pain. And FDA has, has mandated a strong interest in seeing a drug to treat this severe ocular uh, pain condition. So we're excited because we are the very first company in uh, February of this year to get IND clearance on starting a phase two trial with our drug, OK101, to treat neuropathic corneal pain with Dr. Pedram Hamra, a leader in neuropathic corneal pain as the investigator, the primary investigator at a site that we'll be opening at Tufts Medical Center in Boston. So this is really exciting for us because the drug that we're looking at for dry eye, we're also now excited about opening a phase two trial before the end of the year, we're working very hard to get this trial underway. It's a trial that will also involve about three month uh, duration. We were looking at getting uh, top line data by sometime perhaps early uh, in, the, in the summer of next year. What are the main advantages of OK101 over current treatments available in the market for dry eye disease? Great question. And what really excited us about the data that we saw was that in dry eye disease, Michael, there are a number of endpoints that can be used for an approval with FDA. When you file what's called an NDA, a new drug application with FDA, in the case of dry eye, you have to have two types of endpoints. One is a sign endpoint, one is a symptom endpoint. And what we really loved was from our trial, we saw statistical significance in what's called conjunctival staining and, of course, in ocular pain. So uh, what we are looking at is opening that registration trial with those uh, those primary endpoints, and those are completely differentiated from any other drug that has been approved to treat dry. So we believe we'll, we're looking at a drug that will have a clear product profile that is distinct and significant for treating this uh, condition. I should point out also that there are 38 million people in the U.S. who suffer from dry eye disease. One out of every three people over 50 suffer from dry eye disease. So although there are drugs to approve to uh, treat it, there's been no drug that overall is, is, is treating the, the large numbers of people with this disease. So we see an opportunity for OK101 treating dry eye as well. Excellent. For investors, management is key to the success of smaller cap companies. What can you tell us about the key players on your team? Well, Michael, I'll begin with myself. Um, I was born with DNA that's focused on drug discovery and drug development. I'm the co-inventor of two drugs. One of them, True Lance, is marketed now by Bausch Health to treat chronic idiopathic constipation. It's a drug I co-invented and took through four registration trials and two approvals with FDA. So I have hands-on experience in taking a drug all the way from discovery, which I've been involved in uh, and which I am an uh, inventor in, all the way through to approval. And that I will indicate in that case for Trulance, that was in over 5,000 patients in uh, for four registration trials. So a lot of experience. My uh, colleague, my chief scientific officer, Dr. Raj Patil, has hands-on experience in, in ocular diseases with stints at both uh, with, with both uh, Alcon and uh, Novartis and has tremendous experience in the ocular space. And so I, we find ourselves a, an excellent team. We also have a wonderful board with a great uh, deal of experience in drug development, and uh, we're really excited about OK101. In summary, what is the essential value proposition? Why should investors take an interest in OKYO today? Great question, Michael. And the, the reality is that when you're dealing with biotech companies that are involved in clinical development, Michael, most people real, realize that, that clinical development can take many years. It can take six, seven, eight years to take a drug from discovery all the way through clinical trials, phase one, phase two, phase three. We've been on a, uh, on a, a rampage to really bring our drug through clinical development rapidly. This drug that uh, I'm talking about skipped over phase one. We immediately moved it into a phase two trial in patients, and we're looking at registration trials in, uh, in dry eye. And likewise, we're very excited that uh, with this uh, this particular phase two trial in neuropathic corneal pain, which is a major unmet medical need, there's a lot of excitement on uh, uh, internally in, in seeing OK101's OK results in the upcoming clinical trials. So I, I certainly believe that those investors who are interested in biotech uh, investments take a good hard look at OKO OK Pharma.
Gary, it is a truly fascinating story. Thank you for sharing it with us today. Thank you, Michael.